This is Michael Kelly. We're here after the um, production of the uh, Gautam Buddha, which appeared here at Kersey High School. And we're talking with uh, Saroj Mizra, who performed uh, several of the major roles, including that of Chana, the charioteer, and Anem, uh, one of the final disciples who was there uh, when uh, the Buddha achieved nirvana. Um, Saroj, uh, what got you involved in this production? Well, Mike, I've been doing productions like this for Miss Rao since I was in about sixth grade. She's actually put on a number of different productions, all retellings of classical Indian stories. And it's just been something that the community has always gotten involved in, as have I. Um, do you have any particular feeling for the role you play? Um, I try to think about the character that I'm trying to play, and usually I try to get into it as much as I can. It helps a lot because Miss Rao always gives us the, the incentive that we need to understand the role. Have you been involved in any other productions outside of the, uh, the uh, uh, productions based on uh, traditional Indian tales? Um, as a matter of fact, I have. I'm a college freshman now, but my last year at high school, uh, Flint Powers High School, I was in the production of Brigadoon um, there as well. It was a wonderful musical, and I really enjoyed that as well. Now this is a very powerful tale, the, 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 the tale of Buddha, which is of course one of the great religious historical figures in all history. You know, I mean, you're down to two or three people, what are you talking about Buddha? So, um, uh, was there any special feeling in telling a story, uh, of a story that has had as much impact as this has had? I think there was. Um there's always that special feeling that you're doing something to bring a little part of our culture to a lot much larger world that may not know a lot about it it's always nice because after every play we get people who come to us and say you know that is so interesting mm -hmm. and it always makes me feel good because i know that i've helped people to understand a little bit more about world culture you know most people uh... in this country in the west have an image of uh... buddha as uh... sort of an east asian figure because buddhism is so strong in japan and, and southern asia um, that they don't understand that buddha was a, a, a hindu figure Yes, uh, that's true. A lot of people feel that he was from possibly China or Japan. Uh, the truth of the matter is that Buddha was a Hindu prince named Siddhartha, and he did convert and found his own religion here in India. In India. <laughs> Not here. Is there um, a special pleasure in uh, telling a story from your own culture? Yes, there always is. Um, I think everybody involved in the play can say that every time they tell one of these stories, it gives them a little sense of pride and also a greater knowledge of their own culture. Now, this is a one-time production, and looking at the costuming and the scenes, it's obviously an awful lot of work has gone on to this. Have you uh, ever talked about moving it on the road or doing more productions? Um, actually, the, it's possible that this might be our last production. In the past, we have taken the show on the road. We've done the Gautam Buddha play in uh, Indiana, as well as in other uh, parts of Michigan. Um, it's, it's fairly popular, not only here in Michigan, but with other people from other Indian clubs around the country. Has this production with this cast been uh, put on more than once? Yes, it's, put on, it's been put on three times before this. This is our final production of the Gautam Buddha story. When did you start working on it? Too far back to remember. <laughs> it's been a long time and a lot of production has gone into it. Not just from the people who are in the play, but the people behind the scenes, the prompters, the people who make our sets, and the people who make the costumes. There's a very strong visual element in this play, uh, or this production. The costuming was fabulous. The, the sets look very, very nice. Um, they're simple, but very visually effective. Um, is that part of, of the Hindu culture, that, that very almost extravagant uh, visual element? Um, traditionally, yes. The settings that you see, although simple, do provide the effect needed. They're, they're very simple but very artistic. As much as is the dress, the dress is very rich because back in the olden times, in India, all the people dressed very, very nicely with fine silks, etc. That's why the costumes and the setting are the way they are. Is it at all a, a, uh, um, a universal style, or would different casts and different types of people dress differently? I think that possibly um, different casts might dress a little bit differently, but the basics are the same. Uh, the style, for, at least for Asians, Indians, is universal. The, the simplistic settings, etc., provide the effect needed and really do make a stunning impact, although they don't seem to at first. Okay. 
Well, we've been talking with Saroj Mizra, who was one of the uh, performers here in this production of the Gatum, Gatum Buddha. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably I'm going to have a lot of trouble this evening, but anyways, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you very much, Mike. I'm happy to meet you, and I'm glad that you interviewed us. Okay, thanks a lot.